Hi everyone, welcome back to Fertility Friday. Today I thought we'd talk about something a little bit more relevant to today, which is the coronavirus or COVID-19. So COVID-19 stands for Coronavirus Disease 2019, and it is a respiratory illness caused by the novel coronavirus. The virus that causes COVID-19 is called Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2. Transmission is thought to occur mainly through respiratory droplets, where the virus is released through respiratory secretions with coughing and sneezing. And these respiratory droplets typically don't travel more than six feet. COVID-19 can present with mild symptoms such as fever and mild respiratory symptoms to severe cases characterized by shortness of breath, or decreased oxygenation to more severe cases requiring intensive care support. Patients at highest risk tend to be elderly patients, patients with critical disease, or patients with pre-existing comorbidities. Because COVID-19 is a novel disease, there is currently no treatment for it other than supportive care, and in the severe cases, supportive care in an ICU requiring respiratory support. Because of the severity of the disease, the increasing exponential growth in the United States and the potential strain on the healthcare system, the American Society of Reproductive Medicine, or ASRM, has put out guidelines to help guide fertility treatments in these times. These guidelines were put out on March 17th, and they were updated on March 30th, and they will continue to update these guidelines as the pandemic evolves with the goal of restarting treatment as soon as possible, but when it is safe to do so. These guidelines recommended suspending the initiation of new treatment cycles, including IUI, IVF, and frozen embryo transfers, strongly considering canceling embryo transfers, continuing care of patients currently in cycle, suspending elective surgical procedures and non-urgent diagnostic procedures, and minimizing in-person interaction and increasing the use of telehealth. Even in times like this, it doesn't mean we can't get started on your fertility journey. You can set up a consultation over telemedicine with your fertility physician. We can talk about your history. We can develop a diagnostic plan and possibly talk about treatment plan. As soon as it's safe to do so, we'll bring you into the office to complete the diagnostic workup and then get going on your treatment plan as soon as possible. It's our goal to get started as soon as possible on your journey to pregnancy, but as soon as it's also safe to do so. If you were in the middle of initiating an evaluation, you can still meet with your physician over telemedicine to go over the results of your evaluation. We can talk about your treatment plan so that when the time is right and we're ready to start, we can hit the ground running. This is the most common question that we get. ASRM is continuing to review the guidelines periodically as the pandemic evolves with the goal of resuming treatments as soon as possible and as soon as it's safe to do so. We are encouraging patients to call with their first day of their period each month. This is often the initiation time of a new cycle and this gives us the ability to periodically check in so that once we're ready to start, we can get started. And our goal again is to get you started as soon as possible on your path to pregnancy. There are certain things that we can do while we wait that will help with our path to pregnancy. Taking a prenatal vitamin is very important. A healthy lifestyle with diet and exercise is also very important. I will often encourage a Mediterranean diet, not smoking, minimizing alcohol and caffeine. These things will help prepare our bodies for treatments and pregnancy later on so that once we're ready to resume, we're in a better starting point. Infertility in itself is a difficult condition to endure. The uncertainty of COVID-19 in terms of how long it will delay treatment and the long-term impact it can have is an added burden to bear. Please know we are here for you and please reach out to us to let us know how we can help. Here are some added resources to help navigate these times also. Sharing your thoughts and concerns with the support system can often be helpful. This may be family or friends using virtual connections or video chat, 
or organizations such as Resolve, which offer various resources such as online support communities, local support groups, and webinars. Talking to a trained mental health provider can help with managing the stress and emotional difficulties of the situation. Reach out to your fertility clinic for referral options. Most providers can offer telemedicine consults. Minimize watching too much news coverage. Use reliable sources of information such as the CDC, WHO, or ASRM. Using relaxation or mindfulness apps can also be helpful with reducing anxiety and stress. Do things that bring you enjoyment, such as walking, cooking, online classes, exercise, meditation, listening to music, art, journaling, or other self-care. Create structure for what in your life you can control and establish a schedule for the day with work, play, meditation, or other self-care. Mindfulness and positive thinking can also be very powerful. We are all in this together learning our way through this and adjusting to our new normal. Please know we're still here for you virtually as much as you need us and let us know how we can help. Thanks for watching this Fertility Friday. As always, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok under the handle Anuka MD. Thanks again and see you next time.